In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic IDs inside of the widget creator. Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic IDs in the widget creator. So right now we have this uh, widget with some HTML in it, and uh, we're using a class. First of all, before using IDs, I want to show the problem when using classes. So let's go into the CSS and we're going to select that class. And we're going to give some settings, for example, padding. And let's add a background color. And color. That's it for now. We're going to keep this example super uh, easy. And I'm going into attributes. I'm going to add a color attribute for the background color. I'm going to call it background. And let's add a default value. Perfect. Let's go back to the CSS and replace this uh, value with the dynamic value. So right now we have a div with a class and in the CSS we're selecting the class and we're adding uh, some CSS. To test this I'm going into pages, add new and we can go to edit with Elementor. drag inside our example and I'm going to duplicate the example three times and what I want to show is that if I change the color for one of these it will change the color for all of them and the reason it's doing that is that all of them are using the same class and we don't want this kind of situation to happen so to take care of that I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to change or add an ID next to my class. And again, if I put here a static value, it will duplicate that static value throughout the other um, instances of the same widget. So what I want to do is replace the static value with an attribute that we have right here on the right side and it's called UCID. I'm going to paste that inside, replace my static ID and create a dynamic ID and now for each instance of the widget on the page it will give a unique ID so they won't conflict and they won't be using the same CSS. So over here Instead of dot example, I'm going to put um, ID UCID, and that's my selector. And now, when I go back into my example, refresh, you will see that I can select a different value for each one of these widgets because they're using a dynamic ID selector from within the widget creator. 